Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today's a super exciting morning. I'm up very early. It's like 4.30 a.m. because I am headed to Peru. I am going to Peru with a company called EF Ultimate Break. EF Ultimate Break is a company that puts together group travel experiences. They have over 70 trips that you can choose from. I chose the Peru Machu Picchu adventure, which I'm so excited for. Of course, I'm gonna take you guys right along with me so you can experience the amazing beauty of Peru. I mean, I don't know, I've never been, but I'm sure there's some amazing beauty there. You guys know how much I love travel and solo travel. EF Ultimate Break is an awesome combination of that because you're able to go on a trip or an adventure like this one on your own, but at the same time, you get the support of joining a group and having a tour director and having your whole trip kind of laid out for you. So it's not as intimidating maybe as a complete solo trip. So it's actually a really great kind of introduction to solo travel. There's no better way to make new friends than being alone together in a foreign country. So I've got my camel back. I even got my hiking boots on. <laughs> Who is she? I gotta go to the airport and I'll see ya there. <laughs> we'll see if anything exciting happens on the way. that you are excited about this trip because you have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm here. It's almost 2 a.m. Finally made it to Lima, Peru. I don't know if I've ever been this tired in my life, so I'm about to PTFO, but see you tomorrow. That's all I have to say. All right, it's day one in Lima, Peru. It's time for breakfast. I'm gonna go head down, but before I even start this day, I wanted to mention that I know for a lot of people, money is an issue with traveling. I have always valued traveling as something high up on my list, like before I'm gonna shop for clothes or things like that. I'm always into having experiences, so I always budget around being able to travel every year. But if money is an issue for you regarding travel, then EF also offers payment plans and can help you out with that. So it's really awesome because they want to give every young adult a chance to get out and see the world, which is something I can get behind. And if you use the link in the description box, you can also get $100 off a trip if you book. So. Two options for you if money is a little tight. Don't ever let that stop you from traveling and seeing the world. All right, now let's go eat. <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay, breakfast number one. This is called the Park of Love in Lima. <laughs> Way to rub it in. No. No. <laughs> All right, so ceviche is a Peruvian classic, especially in Lima on the coast, so I'm giving it a try. I just gotta zoom in on this corn here. Giant corn. The taste test. Mm. Well, that is some good ceviche. All right, it's a workout to get up here, but there is a kind of pyramid thing in the center of Lima. Uh, guys, this is like the kitchen. Listen, I might complain about my kitchen, but <laughs> at least it's not that old. <laughs> Okay, back in my room after an amazing day here in Lima. Tomorrow we are off again to Cusco, Peru, 
which is in the highlands of Peru, which I am the most excited for because it's in the setting of the mountains and that's where we'll also be going off to Machu Picchu from. Wow, today we did so much though, which was awesome. I've done a lot of traveling on my own and I like having like independence and everything like that, but it actually has been so nice to not have to worry about anything. Have the whole trip be planned essentially for me. Also getting to meet so many new people with different backgrounds has been so fun. We learned so much today about the city and its history and I wouldn't have gotten that experience if I was just doing it on my own because usually when I travel on my own I don't really know what I'm doing, I just kind of wander. I'm about to pass out because I'm again exhausted and it's been a long day. Look, it's our first alpaca sighting of the trip. We have travel. <laughs> when they spit, right? Do they spit? No, that's llamas, right? Oh. I guess we'll find out. We just jumped 11,000 feet. We've all been drinking so much water to be able to like survive the altitude, but we all have to pee like every five <laughs> minutes too. Check out the cutest hotel room of all time. This view is unreal. Holy crap, Cusco. Way for the vlog. <laughs> I am Banata! Banata! I'm Banata! My mate tea with the coca leaves and a passion fruit chase leche. Sounds so good. Alright, guys, Cusco on three. One, two, three. Cusco! Cusco. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, look at these <laughs> authentic Peruvians. All right, show me your alpaca. <laughs> oh, you actually have one? They gave it to us for free. They were like, Here come the poncho boys. Llamas in their pocket. Where's your llama? I, I gave mine away. Oh. Has <laughs> amado contigo? Nice. I'm never coming home. <laughs> this is it. Goodbye, YouTube. You can find me here with the llamas. He's a shy one. All right, guys, llama on three. One, two, three. Llama. So we're at the alpaca factory. Alpaca factory. Alpaca factory. Alpaca factory, and we're gonna learn how to source real alpaca sweaters. Source it. <laughs> right from the source. How do you shave an alpaca? How do you call an alpaca from a llama when you're sourcing? I don't know, actually. Valid question. This is 100% simple. How you can recognize when you touch this one is a sponge. Touch this. <laughs> <laughs> How does it compare? Yes. <laughs> can you see the resemblance? <laughs> All right, so we are here at the salt mines of Maras. It's a big salt mine in the mountains. Salty AF. <laughs> All right, trying the smoky salt. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, smoky. Mmm, that smoky, smoky flavor kind of tastes like barbecue. Oh my God, look at this guy. <laughs> so cute. This is some fresh cracked salt. <laughs> Just eating some salt on my hand. Oh, pungent. The rock skin. All right, watch and learn. Oh, no, wait, sorry. <laughs> I got nervous. All right, watch and learn. It's a really good job. <laughs> that was a practice round. Damn! Woo! <laughs> I'll take it. Is this a competition now? Are you coming for my title? The rock. He's coming for my title of two. Do you think he can beat it? Probably not. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was whoa! It's still going. Okay, there's a few more than two. Listen, it was it was a close competition. I'll give it to you. We're on our way to the Sacred Valley, but we've stopped at an alpaca farm. Oh, 
Jeez, that one's aggressive. <laughs> We're about to climb up about 500 stairs. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> It'll be a good workout. Five steps in, guys. All right, we made it to the top. What a view. It actually wasn't that bad. 500 steps went really fast. So I'm walking now on part of the Inca Trail. I think it takes four days total to do the whole Inca Trail that goes to Machu Picchu. But if, oh my God, <laughs> it was just down. Oh. <laughs> while I'm vlogging. Oh, oh my God, I'm gonna die while I'm vlogging. <laughs> it's ruined. All right, I'm gonna sign off now. This is Shelby. Hey, I'm a huge fan of Facebook food videos. And obviously, DC is my number one. And I freaking recognized her! I was like, no, you didn't actually. You said, you look like the girl from Daisy. Do you get that a lot? <gasps> okay, because I didn't want to be like wrong. So I just like, I was like, like, was uh, like it's me, I actually. bet it's her. No, it's I me. knew it. I knew it. I just did it. All right, today's the day. We're finally headed to Machu Picchu, the moment we've all been waiting for. Woo. How are we feeling? You ready for it? We're taking a train, so we don't even have to walk no much, medicine. but. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun though. Love we'll a good train, right? <laughs> All right, we made it to Machu Picchu, guys. <laughs> Finally. This was the moment we were all waiting for, and it's magical. All right, we're up super early to, well, we were originally gonna hike Rainbow Mountain, but now we're taking horses up. Group name is Poncho Boys. One of our last days in Cusco before the trip is over. Here's my horse. All right, now I'm hiking up to the top of Rainbow Mountain. Not a breath. It's about 17,000 feet, I think. I don't know, high altitude gets to your brain. It's gonna be an awesome view. All right, made it to the top of Rainbow Mountain. So cool, this view is insane. How we doing, Poncho boys? Poncho. Where's your poncho? Poncho. Did you lose your poncho? Hi. We're high. We're high. Right, so this is called an Inca toilet. Check out the view though. Good luck. All right, I officially feel like I'm on Mars. Who knows? Oh, Salute! Salute! Salute to Sally! Pancho Boy! Pancho Boy! Pancho! And as we call each other in the mountains, now we are not friends, we are brothers and sisters. And the Pancho Boys! Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. You're the Cheers. best. <laughs> All right, my trip with EF Ultimate Breakthrough Peru and Machu Picchu is now officially over. So just reflecting on this whole trip, it's truly been life-changing. Not only traveling with EF Ultimate Break, but Peru, the country itself is so special. The people, the food, the culture, the history, the nature, there's so much to do here. And I know for a fact that if I had tried to plan this trip on my own, I would not have seen or done nearly as much. I didn't have to worry about a thing, but just enjoying my trip and experiencing and absorbing everything that Peru has to offer. I am going back home truly changed, feeling energized, feeling like I'm carrying, again, the spirit of Peru in my heart. Again, I hope that you guys get to experience something so magical and beautiful too. Travel is truly priceless. And whether that is to Peru, which I highly recommend, or anywhere else in the world, I promise you will not regret it. All right, well, I am signing off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tupanan Chiscama, which means until we meet again in Quechuan.